All right, guys, we are over at the stump job. So I didn't get the video because I was in such a hurry yesterday, but I already did one right there. And this is another one that we're going to knock out. We got a little one over there that we're going to do. And if we have time this afternoon, see. if we have time this afternoon, we'll get the one at the front of the driveway. But we're going to try and do at least these next two. And me and the wife are kidless for uh, the night, so she wanted to go on a date. So I got a couple of hours. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can get done in that time. We should be able to start that next one as long as we don't have no problems. But got those cameras squared away at the other property. Gonna get these knocked out, and then we are going to move on to the next stump job we have another one lined up and oh well, i think we got two lined up so plenty of work to do got uh, another uh, trapping job i have to go give a quote on next week uh i got a bunch of stuff going on with my trailer and i want y'all to look at something real quick I cannot believe this is sitting here. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. I cannot believe this. Look at that. That thing has rode, rode on my tailgate since yesterday afternoon. Let me show you what this, what, what this is. And the bad thing is, that's the second time I've done that. Let me show you what this does. So when you're traveling with this thing, you're supposed to put this pin in right here. Right, it goes all the way across. It ain't lined up. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay. And it sits just like that. And it keeps the, uh, the head from uh, bouncing too much while you're traveling. And, I mean, it's in the manual that you're supposed to do that. And yesterday when I went to get gas for this thing, I put it right there. With, and the uh, gas station is just like one minute up the road. And I came back. And I was like, great, Dad, I can't believe I left that on there. Well, I done did it again. I must have put that back on my tailgate yesterday evening and left it there the entire day. And I've been over cattle gaps today. I've been on all kinds of bumpy dirt roads uh, and highways. And that thing is still sitting there. Wow. I mean, it's got some weight to it, but daggum, I've been over some rough stuff. Thank God that's still there. Um, I don't know where to put it now because I don't want to forget it. Think I'll see it right there? Y'all think I'll see that? Hanging off like that? Maybe. We're going to try it. But anyway, um, more stunt jobs lined up. I got a beaver job I have to go give a quote on. Um, that's a good, good drive away, so I don't know how all that's got to work, going to work out. I got to figure out my numbers on that. And uh, after the beaver job, quote, whatever, next week, I've got to sit down with another individual, talk about um, some stuff going on with my trailer and more information on that. We're pretty excited about what's coming up with that. But uh, more information on that as we go forward. And then, uh, let's see here, I got some uh, trailer rentals coming up. Not next week, but the week after that. So I got a full schedule, guys. Full schedule. Um, and a ton more stuff to do. A ton more stuff. But anyway, we're going to knock these stumps out. And we're going to go on a date with the wife.
Are y'all still going? All right, we'll just say 15 minutes. That went on 15 minutes. And there you go. And guys, that is where these machines shine. These little machines like this. Let me walk this in. This Bandit SG40 right here is only a 38 horsepower machine, right? And that's what I had y'all sitting on. That's not, that's uh, what I cut off. Uh, so a 38 horsepower machine did, did that stump in 15 minutes, okay? And it would have done it faster if I had on uh, new teeth, but I have on old teeth because I'm out here in this dirt. And just it's hard clay there's rocks in it so i didn't put on new teeth before i came over here but 15 minutes 175 bucks you're not going to get it every time uh because part of that 175 is uh like a setup fee a uh, minimal i guess you can call it uh but 15 minutes 175 that's 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 good money you know uh but really there would be people that would tell you i'm not charging enough um i'm charging based on uh people around me right other people around me and uh this i'm in a saturated market i'm i'm the new guy out in the game you know what i'm saying there's tons of tree services around here that uh do stump grinding and uh they have these big machines right um, they've been established in, in this uh, area for uh, decades, literally. Um, and I'm getting these prices in a saturated... Uh, 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 ugh, my words are slipping. There's a lot of people in this industry that is doing this. And I'm in rural Alabama, so I'm in the backwoods. I'm still getting that. If I was in, uh, let's say, uh, Huntsville... Uh, probably even Montgomery, but definitely Huntsville. There's a guy I follow on YouTube in Huntsville, and he would have got $300 for that stump. I mean, I can't get that down here, but just saying, uh, these little stump grinders, they, ma they make you good money. But the key is, do not, with, with this particular stump grinder, do not bite off more than you can chew. I don't know if you can see these, these big old things back here in the back. But there are some monster pine stumps back here. And if you get into some really big stuff, and let's say you get into, uh, ah, my camera's messing up on me. Let's say you get into um, a, like a six foot oak stump. With that machine right there, you are gonna be there for <coughs> a long time. You're gonna be there for a long time. You're gonna put a lot of wear on your machine and you're only going to be able to charge. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't do it. I would pass on it. You know, if I had a giant, giant stump, I mean, I pass on giant stumps all the time uh, because I don't want to stand in one spot for five or six hours and only make 500 bucks, you know, or 400 bucks, probably closer to 400 around here. Um, I would rather go to a job that has a stump that takes me 15 minutes to grind, hit it, make my 175, and go to the next 10 minute 175. You know, that's that's what I like to do. And that's what these where these machines shine at. So just keep that in mind. If you're thinking about getting into the stump grinding game, the SG40 ain't a bad machine, but it has limits. And as long as you know the machine's limits, it's gonna help you make uh, some money. Now, uh, 38 horsepower i've watched a ton of uh youtube videos on other machines that are smaller 38 horsepower is about probably the smallest i would go uh if you're going to do it profession professionally you know full time <clears throat> 38 is about as low as i would go and that's this is about for a new machine twenty five thousand dollars uh that's what you're looking at to get into it bigger machines prices go way up way up but with those big machines that right there would have took five minutes and these big stumps back here would have took 15 minutes you know what i'm saying but it's a good entry into a market and this one good thing about this machine is it can get places that the big ones can't and uh that's where you charge a premium at 
because it's a, a specialty at that point. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out. There's money to be made out there, guys. Money to be made. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, so there's that. And I would like to say that, um, I, I mean, I still lose jobs, right? I mean, I'm just, I'm kind of like in the middle from what I'm hearing from uh, customers and uh, jobs that I lose. I have people underbid me. And then um, I have, when I get a job, I have, man, somebody told me that they would have charged outrageous amount so i mean i i'm in the middle somewhere which is a good thing you know if you're getting every job your, your prices are too low so i like where i'm at i like what the machine's doing it's making me money and uh anyway we're gonna cut down that little stump over there and we're gonna grind it up and we're probably just gonna go back here and see if we can at least stump stump off that other one because i ain't gonna grind all of it I always try and cut them as low to the ground as possible if my chainsaw works i don't know if it will <coughs> all right let's get it always be sure to rake around your stump before you go to grind rake around that stump because there could be all kinds of stuff it could be bricks rocks bolts I've even cut into a, a chain before inside of a pine stump. So just be sure that you rake around it real good to make sure you don't hit nothing that you don't want to. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, paying a hundred dollars at least for a new set of teeth. guys here's the big the big one this is gonna be the pain in the butt i'm gonna try and cut it lower the saw's been giving me some headache and that's that's I mean it's, it's more of an operator issue <laughs> i'm not a chainsaw man uh but i want i want to get me a bigger and more powerful saw but that's not a knock on this particular echo the story behind this echo and getting it it, it is already saved me several thousand dollars and helped me on several jobs so uh it's not a problem with the saw itself it's just it's probably me and not taking care of it quite right but i'm gonna get me a bigger one so i guess i can mess that one up too but uh i'm gonna try and get it get it cut down and then uh we're gonna grind it but this is gonna be a bunch i'm gonna end up pulling a bunch of this stuff away too trying to get out any rocks and loose loose bits because if you hit that with that stump grinder that wheel that wheel come back and hit you so we're going to get this see if we can get this cut down well it did pretty good actually so no complaints so really the story behind that is i'll tell y'all why i'm walking to the truck we had a hurricane come through 
our neighborhood several years ago. Tore up the, tore up lost the, but I think it was 20 something trees in our neighborhood that got blown over. One big one was in our yard. And uh, you know how it is after storms, you got out of towners and stuff, people trying to make a buck and I get it. But the tree had already fallen over. Part of it was in the road. That's how close to the highway it was. Not like it was off the highway a long ways, like 15 feet from the road. And this uh, tree crew company, I don't know if they were a company or what, but they wanted uh, $2,000 to cut up that tree, my tree, and move it to the road, not even get rid of it, $2,000. And we couldn't get nobody else because, like I said, everybody was tied up. So that's why it was all the outrageous pricing. So I went to Home Depot, spent 300 bucks, and I cut it up myself and rode it to the road, and then the city came and got it. But been a good saw. Literally saved me thousands of dollars, and it's helped me on other jobs like this. But I've had it a while, and I've kind of abused it. So that's why I say I think it's time to get another one. Just get one that's more of a professional grade and uh, bigger. But it's been it's been good to me. It gave me a, a good run and it wasn't expensive. So I'll probably end up buying. Wow, y'all still going? I ain't even gonna edit that out. I'll probably end up buying a. Uh, another echo just a, a great bigger one uh, one of my buddies that has a tree service up in birmingham he runs echoes and he he loves them so i'll probably get me another one anyway we got that stumped we're gonna move the old bandit over there and get the last one we uh we might have time getting pretty close to a date hour date with the wife so we may not get it all we'll see and i don't know if she wants me to come all filthy we'll see all right a couple things i wanted to point out before uh my phone dies i ain't gonna be able to take a long video um i raked off as much as i could they tried to push this up with a dozer that's why it's all messed up and it didn't work but that's it's partially up out of the ground already and that's why there's a mess around it but i've raked off a good portion of it away just making sure there ain't no kind of metal bricks or anything like that but when you're in this kind of uh, material it just it dulls your teeth really fast and a set of teeth is over 100 bucks it's like 130 i think um so you just got to be mindful and really the only only thing you can do is uh make sure you don't put brand new teeth on it when you come to a job like this and then uh charge accordingly which i mean i have for this job because this this puts wear and tear on your machine specifically the teeth and the cutter head and uh these things ain't cheap so all right we're gonna get started um i'm gonna start way out here again another good point most people they see this portion and they think that's all you're gonna do somebody that ain't doing a good job that may be all they're gonna do but what i always do is i get all the roots that are around the stump now, if there's roots, like on some oak trees, you'll have roots that are running off. You got to charge for that because that's a lot. That's uh, really time consuming doing that. But this right here, this is what we're we're gonna grind up right here, and just got to be careful for any loose pieces because it will come back, and uh, it won't feel good when it hits you. We're gonna knock this out. I don't know how many little quick videos I can make because my phone's about to die, but uh, we're gonna knock it out real quick.
guys. There you go. So y'all can see that I had to go over to the other side just because I wanted to be sure that I got the whole stump. One thing with uh, the little SG40, it's not gonna have as uh, great of swing as some of these uh, bigger machines. Again, you gotta know, know the limits of your machine, right? So perfect example. It took me about an hour, 45, 50 minutes. It was either, it was about 50 minutes, I think. I can't remember exactly what time it started. But uh, it took me about um, that long to do that stump. And <laughs> I made the same on this one as the other one. So that, that, that's why you have to uh, <laughs> be, uh, don't don't try and get the, the giant stumps. You know, you want to kind of stay away from the big ones with this machine because it takes you longer. But um, if you want to know more on it, because that probably just confused all of y'all that I made the same. Technically, I didn't. Kind of did. If you want to know more, uh, just comment on the video, and I'll help y'all out with uh, how I price. Tell y'all how I price um, down in the comments. And just, I'm here to help people. You know, I want people to to know that uh, they can do this kind of stuff too. So we uh, were late for our date, but the date is still on. So we are going to. Get this thing cleaned up. I'm gonna get cleaned up. And we're gonna get in the trunk and uh, get out of here. So with that being said, hope y'all enjoyed the video. It ended up being kind of long, I think. Uh, I gotta edit it, but I think it's gonna be a pretty long video. But hope y'all enjoyed it and we will see y'all on the next one. Y'all be good.